Oh, hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode of How to Signal. In this session today, we're going to be covering auto sniping, a powerful feature of the Sigma Telegram bot. If you're looking for ways to execute trades before they go live, you're in the right place. We'll cover everything from setup to execution so you'll be fully equipped to use this powerful feature. So without further ado, let's get to it. Now, before we get started and to find tokens that have just started trading, you can look at base deploys on Telegram. What's nice about this feature is that the Sigma auto snipe is already integrated in this channel. It's part of the Sigma team. Also, FYI, you can look on Dex Screener or Dex Tool for new peers, okay? That's another way you can find new token launches. But please do be aware as there are tons of scam tokens out there. So it is up to you to do your due diligence on newly launched tokens. Now, speaking of scams, Sigma does have an anti-rug feature and that basically helps you protect your trades by watching for potential scams. If it spots anything suspicious like a rug pull, a honeypot, you name it, it can stop the trade, which is a very good thing. However, the anti-rug feature is not available on the base blockchain. And that is because of the mempool architecture of the base blockchain. Now let's start with initiating a snipe for a token on the verge of launching, but isn't available for trading as of yet. I've got a contract address that isn't active right now, meaning that the tokens cannot be bought or sold. So by setting up my auto snipe, I can configure Sigma to automatically buy this token for me the moment it goes live. Let's paste this token in that I'd like to snipe. There we go, that's my token. And I'm just gonna click on send. My snipe is not set, but it has triggered my auto snipe. Now, the first step here is you have to specify the amount of ETH, okay, you would like to spend to purchase the token. If any of these presets are pressed, a snipe will be registered without confirmations. Now, let's go over some of the settings. On the first line, you'll see all of the wallets you have within your Sigma bot. On this line, you see we have wallet number one and wallet number two. These are the two wallets that I've set up for use in my bot. Now, I know for this snipe, I would actually like to use wallet number two. So I'll click on wallet number two and I'll deactivate by clicking on wallet number one. If I would like to use both wallets for this snipe, I'll click on all or just simply manually select wallet number one. So click to activate, click to deactivate. Now let's move on to gas. And as you know, the gas selection influences your transaction priority, okay, with options of low, medium, and high. Now keep in mind, the higher the gas, the more secure your position is. However, at an increased cost. In Sigma, however, you have this additional feature where you can customize your gas for your snipe. So you can simply click on the gas icon here. And here you can enter a customizable amount for this particular snipe. So for this snipe, I'm going to enter, um, let's say, 20. Okay. I'm going to click on send. And as you can see here, my customized gas setting has been set. Okay. And is activated. Now let's go over the max transaction settings in Sigma. Okay. Now this max transaction is basically designed to manage your exposure when entering transactions for new tokens, especially those with high volatility. So it's click to enable, click to disable. When max transaction is enabled, it puts a cap on your transaction based on a percentage of the tokens supply. For example, if a token states that no one can buy more than 1% of the total supply of a single transaction, and you've decided to spend 0.3 ETH, here is what happens. If the 1% of the token supply costs more than 0.3 ETH, the Sigma bot won't proceed with the purchase because it would exceed the allowed percentage. However, if 1% of the token supply cost less than 0.3 ETH, then your purchase would go through because it's within the allowance. When max transaction is disabled, the percentage cap is ignored and it gives you more flexibility. 
So for this example, I'm going to disable my max transaction. Now let's go over the minimum token settings. The minimum token setting lets you decide the smallest amount of new tokens you're okay with buying. If you can buy this amount with money you're ready to spend, the Sigma bot will not make that trade for you. It makes sure you get the meaningful amount of tokens, not just little crumbs here and there. Here's a great example. Let's say your buy amount is 0.2 ETH and you want to basically purchase at least 10% of the total supply for 0.2 ETH. Now, in this case, you will get 10% of the supply or more or your transaction will fail. So to set the minimum token, we can simply click on minimum token. And here we'll see we need to set supply percent limit. So for this example, I would like to get 1% of the token supply for the money that I put in there or the ether that I put in there. So I'm going to type in one. Send. And great. My settings minimum token, as you can see, has been activated. Now for slippage, let's say you use one ETH, okay, to buy a token and you set your slippage at 50%. That means that you're okay with the chance that by the time your buy goes through, the tokens you could get could be worth anywhere from 0.58, 50% slippage, to 1 eighth. Also consider that setting a slippage at 100% would mean that you're ready for even bigger changes. Accepting that the token you buy might end up being worth, for example, 0 ETH to 1 eighth. So it's really up to your risk tolerance. So in this example, I'm going to set my slippage, okay, up to 50% percent and I'll just enter 50 and enter. My slippage has been set to 50 percent. Now let's talk about the pre-approved function. If you think about it, when you first swap a token on a DEX, a decentralized exchange like Uniswap or SushiSwap, you need to give them permission to move your tokens from your wallet. It's a one-time approval thing uh, for each new tokens. So the pre-approved function in Sigma works basically the same way. It lets you give your permission before a new token even launches. And that's a great thing because it will enable quicker selling after launch. So I'm going to hit pre-approved. And again, the anti-rug. This helps protect your trades against any kind of suspicious activities, okay? So it could be like a rug pull, it could be like a honeypot. However, again, it does not work on the base blockchain because of the base blockchain architecture. Now let's go over the minimum liquidity feature, which is a crucial setting in the Sigma bot for managing risk associated with the availability of funds in a token pool. So the liquidity pool, right? You can specify a minimum dollar amount of liquidity that must be present in the pool for your trade. For example, if you set the minimum liquidity at 1000, which is what we're gonna do, Okay, I'm going to set it at 1000. Sigma actually checks to see if the dev has added at least this amount to the token liquidity pool. Now, if the dev only adds, for example, 0.28, ETH, which is equivalent to $700, my buy order, okay, will not go through because the liquidity is too low. I'm setting my liquidity to 1000. My transaction will only be executed once the liquidity pool meets the expected criteria of a thousand dollars. So I'm going to set it to 1000. Now here we have buy tax and sell tax. And basically what that refers to are the fees that you need to pay on transactions. Now, when you set a buy tax, you're actually determining the maximum percentage of tax you're willing to pay when you buy the token. Similarly, setting a sell tax defines the maximum you can incur Okay, when you sell that token. So my buy tax will be 5% and I'm going to change my sell tax by clicking on it. I'm going to enter 15% and send. And as you can see here, okay, my buy tax and my sell tax have been updated. Now let's go over the alpha mode, which is a particular setting on Sigma. Now, when it's turned on, it turns off the usual protective features that prevents you from entering into potentially risky trades. Now, risky trades could be purchase of tokens that may be considered honeypots, potential tokens with unusually high transaction taxes or 
tokens that could be blacklisted. But if you turn it off, then you can buy whatever you want. So I'm going to turn it off for this example. And here I'm going to click on the X amount of ETH that I would like to buy. Now, these are all price settings that can be changed in settings. So I'm going to select the X amount of ETH on wallet number two that I'd like to purchase. So I'm going to click on X amount of ETH and I'm wallet number two. I have 0.007 ETH in there, so I'm going to purchase 0.002 ETH worth of tokens. My slippage is at 50%. Okay, I have maximum transaction off, minimum tokens off. Okay, and I'm going to click on send. And there we go. Now, my snipe has been registered. As you can see here, I have my monitor for my snipe. So I have the maximum amount that I spent, 0.002 E. I have the amount of gas that I've spent, and I have the number of wallets that I've used to actually snipe this token. Now let's say after the snipe, we would like to edit a particular settings. I can go in here and change my settings. So for example, I can click on slippage and I can change my slippage to Let's say, for example, I would like to change it to 10, 10%. Okay, I'm going to click on that and send. And then I'll definitely need to click on update changes because I've made a change to my snipe. So I'll click on update changes. Now, how do I see my snipe or my order? Well, you can simply type in slash orders, enter. And there we go. Another way to see your pending orders is to simply click on this little icon here and go into orders. And there we have it. Now I can cancel my order by clicking on cancel. Now let's do this from the beginning once again. I'm gonna paste my contract in, hit enter. Okay, I want wallet number two. I'm gonna put my gas at high. Okay, my slippage is going to be at 50%. Okay, anti-rug off is okay. And pre-approved, definitely. And now I'm going to choose the amount that I'd like to buy. I'm going to choose X amount of ETH. And here I'll enter 0.002 as that's what I'd like to use to buy my token. Send. And there we have it. My snipe has been registered. Okay. Here I have all of the details of my snipe. And there we have it. Now I'm going to go and make sure that my order is pending. So orders. And there we have it. That brings us to the end of how to Sigma and auto sniping.